Gobble, 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 and welcome. It's This Is Going Well, I think, with David Cooper. I'm your host, David Cooper. This is the only show where no one's listening, no one cares, and where every episode's the last episode. Today, our pre-Thanksgiving show. I am going to be definitely back Monday, November 27th with this show, as usual. But probably between now and then, there will be a Thanksgiving special or two. But I can't promise you that, because I don't really know what the fuck's going on. Tony Five, who is going to join me in just a few moments, is going to visit me in New York. My brother's coming to New York, and I am throwing a massive Thanksgiving dinner. So I'll get back to you after that and tell you how it went. So listen up. Content warning. Strong, severe content warning. I don't know that I've put out anything worse than what's in this episode today. There is vile, graphic, descriptive, scatological references And somehow that intersects with descriptive sexual organ references. So if there's ever an episode where you're going to think to yourself, that was tasteless, today is not the one to listen to. (laughs) I can't believe I'm saying this. I love doing this for you. So yeah, strong language ahead and sensitive listeners or listeners with kids around, you need to definitely be advised. All right, let's bring him in, our foreign correspondent, Tony Five. Tony! Play my theme tune, bitches! I think we should do an abridged one, because this has got to be a quickie. (laughs) Is that good enough? That's great, David. How are you? Would it be really bad taste if I said I'm not really coming tomorrow? (laughs) And that was... (laughs) And this was a massive joke. Well, I'm in over my fucking head right now, so I don't know how mad I would be. (laughs) But come Friday, I would be furious. Okay, so you wouldn't be mad like today per se. No. I'll be honest with you, I don't even know what per se means, but whatever. Um, Would you be really upset? Let me tell you what the last few days and what the next few days has in store for me, Tony. Hit me, baby. This morning... I submitted a 174-page package what? to the co-op board for the house that I'm about to live in. Oh, my God. I thought that was for immigration just because you thought I might be coming. No, no. That was just a one-page package. It just said, uh, dear immigration, don't let this jackass in. Yeah, and you put a, like a, just a bit of big black dot just in case they need to see me here. There is nothing out of the ordinary for these packages to get into a home in new york it's just the process here is wild and it's just so time consuming the amount of documents the amount of letters like nothing nothing was outrageous it's, they just want to know a lot about you a lot about your financial history they want to know if you can pay your monthly maintenance fees and they want to know if you're going to be like a derelict squatter kind of thing in their home which i'm not going to be but i got to prove it and so they just want a lot of financial documents but is this 170 page thing is it like tick boxes or is it just like loads of evidence and id what is it i mean i can tell you what it is it's like a cover letter from me a cover letter from miranda's employment a little bit of information about my employment background oh jesus you don't say you do a podcast with some lunatic from england do you because you definitely not get that place no no we said i'm in digital media and broadcasting which is true it's just a fancy way of saying it <laughs> bullshit Look at the bullshit. Love it. And then you need friends to give you references about what kind of person you are. And I had a friend from New York who also lives in a co-op building saying, I know the things that make a good co-op resident. And David has all those things. It's all straightforward stuff. It's all the stuff everyone does. It's a good building. They're going to let me in. They're not, you know, overly stringent. I'm not a bad person to be living there, but it's just so much work. It sounds like a weird dating app, to be fair. that It was. So that's Monday. That's done. Whatever. Thanksgiving last year. So so, so let's rewind two years ago, 2021. Yes. I had a really good Thanksgiving. (gasps) Wow. Eight people. I made duck. We had a lot of fun. It was a great time. What did you do? Did you talk about pilgrims? No, we don't talk about it. We just shot the shit, Tony. We kibitzed. Do you know what that is? Kibitzed? Isn't that for cats or something? No, it's Yiddish for um, being chatty. Okay. Last year, it was a very weird thanksgiving it was just three people three guests 
Two of them did not get along. <laughs> Those two are not coming this year. <laughs> oh, no, why? I like it when I love conflict, David. You know me. One I've fallen out of touch with. I don't think I've seen him since that day. <gasps> wow. And the other, she's going back home. I like her. Like, I still like them both. But the, the woman who got in the fight with the guy, she's going back to... Did they actually fight at, over the turkey? Not physically, but they were shouting. And they got so drunk. It was hilarious. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, what time does this usual shindig end? Uh, I don't know. It'll go until we're done. We'll eat around six, so that really means we'll eat around seven. Because there's, so okay. But I'm just giving you some background. So last year it was a bust and relatively small, and I felt like you know it wasn't what I wanted it to be. So this year I really lobbied to have the Thanksgiving of my dreams. I lobbied you. <gasps> I lobbied my brother. I lobbied yes. my friend Allegra, who's yes. sort of a north star in terms of a guest. She's also helping me cook. Uh, she's got a really cool friend who came the year I had a great Thanksgiving named Brendan. So I'm like, I have to invite him again. So I was like, okay, that's okay. We got Allegra. We got Tony. We got my brother. We got Miranda. We got me. We got Allegra's friend. We're at six people right now. Who's Allegra's friend? His name's Brendan. He's a photographer. Oh, okay. Cool. And you got CX, haven't you? Somebody called CX? Well, then I start thinking, okay, that's only six people. It's got to be eight to be a good do. So I start inviting a lot of people. I invite my friend Yossi, who's like, he's the straight man. He's the Seinfeld. He's the straight man from which all of Thanksgiving is kind of... So I invite him. I invite, I invite a wild card, my friend CX. And then I start inviting friends from out of town knowing they won't come. <laughs> All of them have said yes. We are having no. Yes, and two of them has to bring girlfriends. So we're having twelve people, Tony. Are you kidding? Right, I've only got seven presents. Fuck. They can share it. Fuck them. It's okay. It's okay. I don't. Know. I imagine one or two won't come. And my one friend, his girlfriend's really tiny. She sometimes goes by shit pussy. Uh, I will explain that nickname in a moment. I've David has told me that him and shit pussy are going to share one duck leg. So I'm only making 11 duck legs. That's it. Wow. This is incredible, David. It's wild. This, this is amazing. I've bought packet stuffing and enough uh, custard cream biscuits for you to start a new war. Are you going to be able to come on Wednesday and hit the ground running and just be involved in all this chaos and help me go shopping into the store and like hang out and do that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's definitely go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, yeah, you have to tell me what time. Just come as soon as you're... If you go to your hotel if you want, because your hotel's on the way to my place. I would take a car to your hotel unless you're really feeling cheap. Yeah, I am. And then take the subway to my house once you've dropped off your shit. Oh, but I get in tomorrow quite late, though, don't I? Five, six o'clock or something. So I was only going to come on the Wednesday, which was the 23rd, I thought. But I can come early. Tomorrow is Wednesday, though. Is it? Yes. What day is it today? Today's Tuesday. Oh, I thought today was Monday. Oh, right, yeah. So, <laughs> so I, I land tomorrow. It, but tomorrow's not Thanksgiving. It's Tuesday, November the 21st. This is the pre-pre-Thanksgiving. Yeah, and I land on pre-Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving's on the Thursday. Yeah, so why don't you come to me, and we'll have dinner with my brother on Wednesday. Oh, could do. Is it? Where's he going to be staying? Close to me. Three-minute walk. Oh, really? Wow. Okay. Yeah, I could do. See how I feel when I get off the flight and I don't get stung or stabbed. Shower. You got to shower after you get off a plane. Planes are disgusting. Well, I'm going to land and then go to, yeah, to this place in, I don't know where it is, Brooklyn somewhere. Um, and then, yeah, I'll work out how to get there. Probably get to there. If I come out immigration, I've only got hand luggage. Probably be at my hotel for like nine o'clock. You land at 530? I think 5.36, yeah. You'll be at your hotel way before 9 o'clock. Will I? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I thought there's just loads of people in the way and I'd have to sort of punch people out of the way. You'll be at your hotel by like 7. Okay. And how, how far is it by subway to yours? That's a good question. Do I go on 39 and 4th? Do I get off of 4th Avenue, 5th Avenue, go through Grand Central? Do I have to do that? Yeah, so your hotel to my house is... Da, 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 da. I go through Grand Central Station. Go through the Bronx. Am I going through the Bronx? Let me go through the Bronx. Your hotel to my place via subway is 30 minutes. Uh, am I going to walk through Central Park? Am I going to... On Fifth Avenue, Central Park? Am I going to go anywhere there? Probably. Okay, cool. Good. What time do things shut there, then? Never. It's the city that never sleeps. Oh, n not sleep at all. So it's basically insomniac. Bars can close at 4 a.m. Wow. But some bars are open 24-7. Really? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very late city. I don't live it as a late city, but it can be. It, it's always, there's always something. It doesn't like empty out at night. Oh, it doesn't? At least not where I'm at. No. 
Oh, okay. It kind of feels, even though it's a bit like unsafe at night, the amount of people that are outside all the time kind of makes it feel just a tad bit safer. Do you know what I mean? Like there's always someone there around. To watch you getting beaten up. Yeah, so if there's some scary people on the street, maybe they'll think twice because there's other bystanders, you know? I'm a scary person on the street, though, so I should be really worried about myself. Exactly. So you come to my house, we'll have dinner around nine or something with my brother. It'll be great. Okay, well, so, well I'll tell you what, I'll text you when I get in. I'll see how I feel. I'll be, uh, I should be okay. You can also come to my apartment bright and early and we'll get started. Wednesday's when we're, we're buying cookery. We're buying all the ingredients. Like we're doing the bulk of the shopping on the Wednesdays. Oh, will there be stuff available still? Yeah, of course. Okay, are you close to the shops? Is it? Is it? I live in Manhattan, Tony. I don't own a car, and I'm close to everything. So how do we get to the shops? We, we walk everywhere, yeah? We walk, yeah, or take the subway. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. So I'm actually looking forward to it. I think uh, Miranda's um, teased me with the fact that we're going to go to karaoke at some stage. That should be fun. Yeah, Taylor Swift karaoke, I believe. A Taylor Swift karaoke-a-thon, which will be fun. Um, and that's it, really. I've got some gifts and stuff for you guys. And yeah, it should be. I mean, half of my packet. I've got so many packets of these biscuits i was looking at it this morning and it looks like i'm packing semtex <laughs> well you can you can shop your uh, your heart out because your biscuits won't be in your bag when you go back i know right yeah so i'll have you know biscuit sized uh, space to uh, to go back in but no i'm looking forward to it as long as i don't have a mh370 plane disaster um i shall be with you maybe this time tomorrow actually what time is it now yeah nine uh, five six o'clock so yeah who knows what's going on oh, you mean the malaysian air where they just disappeared Correct. Yeah, yeah, that was quite the flight, huh? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> They're still enjoying it now, David. Apparently, he's still enjoying it now. Okay, I teased it at the beginning. Let me tell you why my friend's named Shit Pussy. Yeah, well, I like her. It's just going to make you roll your eyes into the back of your head. Okay. At Burning Man, everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people have these alternate names, you know? Yep. They're called Playa names because the desert floor is called the Playa. It's annoying, I know. God, such cunts. All of you lot are such assholes. I go by David there. So I'm going to tell you how Shit Pussy got her name, her playa name at Burning Man. This year she goes and she brings a diva cup. Do you know what that is? Oh, where they pee in a, is it the menstrual cup? Yeah, it's a menstrual cup, menstrual cup. Yeah. She's in the porta potty. She claims it's a freshly serviced porta potty. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. oh. Is it too late to change my flight? <laughs> Fucking hell. Really? And she's going to be there with a duck leg. Well, she is in the porta potty. She, it, her diva cup falls out, and it's the only one she has. It falls in the blue liquid, which she claims is not full of anything. It's just blue <laughs> sanitizing liquid. It's not. It's blue and feces mixture. And actually, from a health perspective, that blue does sanitize shit. She picks it out of there. She sanitizes it with a baby wipe, an alcohol wipe. Like, uh, and she puts it back in. Oh, she's got issues, man. She, she doesn't. She, I mean, I guess she does. I guess she does have issues. I'm, I'm like, should I even? Filth. I got to put a content warning at the beginning of this episode now, I think. You probably do because there's some there's going to be people out there who just try it i was talking to someone earlier on and they were this is a, again a very weird thing to do they were brushing their teeth in the morning have do you know what an air pick is the air flosser like a water pick or yeah it's a water pick so you you, fl you uh, um, floss your teeth with water right they were too lazy to get in a shower so they used this water pick to clean out their pussy and their arsehole <laughs> <laughs> i mean I mean, why would you, why, how is that not faster? How would you not just get into the bath and just do it? And how far are you putting that water pick up your arsehole? And how painful is that? <laughs> yep. Yep. And the thing is, you know the person that's done it. She's like, you know, that blue liquid actually isn't, like, it's not bad for your health. That blue liquid is designed to touch feces and then... And then have it be sanitary. Okay. She sounds like the sort of person, do you know when like someone gets caught having sex with a monkey and they go, <laughs> but you know what, right? Whenever you have sex with a monkey, it's kind of what we used to do in Stone Age times. So, you know, there's nothing really against it. She sounds like that sort of person and that sort of excuse. <laughs> I'm going to have to put a severe content warning on this episode. And I'm excited to do it, to be honest. Yeah, why not? Anyway, so yeah, that should be fun. You take your flight tomorrow. You're coming here. I'm really excited to see you. I haven't seen you since January. 
you see me every week, to be fair, David. And you've got that little tattoo on your hand. I mean, in person. Should we get matching tattoos? Let's not. Oh. Fucking hell. But maybe we should? Maybe we should get matching STIs. I wouldn't mind doing that. We can get them from my friend Shit Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and her Shit Pussy. We can both use her menstrual cup, David. <laughs> <laughs> we can share her menstrual cup. That's what that would that would be our Thanksgiving, David. You know where we break bread, but we share her menstrual cup. She's a legend. I feel bad now. She's gonna feel. <laughs> this is for sure gonna come up at Thanksgiving. I'm gonna ask her. Are you the one that shat in your menstrual cup? Just say hey, shit, pissy, David. <laughs> David's told me so much about you. <laughs> hey, David's told me so much about you and your menstrual cycle hygiene. How are you? You're gonna love her. She's actually lovely. She's lovely. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna have the hots for her. There's something about her. You're gonna... really she hot. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. You're gonna like her. You're gonna like her. I'll be honest with you. However hot she is, the thought of her having a <laughs> menstrual cycle it ain't working for me, dude. And I don't drink, so it's not even like I could use the lubricant of drink or alcohol to help me oh my god yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, are you gonna are we gonna see the macy's parade on tv i mean i don't have a tv but we can stream it or something yeah uh can you see it from your house no come on i'm downtown yeah uh, okay apparently that's meant to be good the macy's parade have you ever seen it i'm looking forward to you coming here no i've never i've just seen it on tv oh god will there be a lot of people on the streets tomorrow when i'm trying to get to yours there probably will be in it on the, on the subway Nah, I think I'm too far south for that. That's like Midtown. We're downtown. Oh, that's Midtown. We're down. And where's Brooklyn in relation to downtown? Is it down or down or town? No, it's east. It's east, yeah. Oh, I don't really know my logistics. I have no idea where I'm going. I mean, to be fair, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to... It's laid out way less confusingly than London because all the streets are numbered. Yeah, I know. Except for where I live. <laughs> where I live, they change to name streets. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, unless it's your street. Yeah. Most of Manhattan, a lot of Brooklyn it's numbered streets and so it's like pretty hard to get lost have you heard of a place called dumbo yeah of course yeah i didn't know it's an actual place and it's got its own like sort of environment and a neighborhood dumbo down under the manhattan bridge overpass dumbo it's it's a very nice area there's like nice it's like cobblestone and very historic and yeah it's nice over there it's close to where i'm staying right so i can i think i can walk there i mean sure if you want to walk for two hours oh is it is oh shit fuck that shit um, what's the weather like at the moment there? Oh, it's um, 40 degrees, 45 degrees Fahrenheit, or uh, maybe 7 degrees Celsius. Oh, okay, so it's pretty similar here. So a bit, a bit chilly, but it's not raining or snowing or anything like that, is it? Yeah, tomorrow it's supposed to go up to 16, Thursday 13, but then Friday, Saturday, Sunday gets a little colder, 9, 6, 10, 11. Okay. Tony, I am looking forward to having you here. I'm very excited to have you here. David, it's been a pleasure. If anything happens... Uh en route then say that i was there on, on a quest to see you and uh, if i see you tomorrow happy days you've got that duck leg with uh, the woman's got shit in her pussy fantastic <laughs> well blue porta potty liquid <laughs> yeah whatever <laughs> same difference vile david it's been a pleasure vile i will uh, see you tomorrow my friend with a big hug and a kiss all right my friend see you later dude have a good night Mwah.